Cheering cheerio. Israel won't stop to kill because if they do, the whole world will turn their back on them and try to punish Netanyahu and his lapdogs. I, I I think the whole world's already turned on uh, Israel. Israel's done as a nation, as far as I see it. It's going to be under blockade for years, decades. There's going to be nations that are going to refuse to do business with Israel. Is is the Western world going to carry Israel and? These privileged motherfuckers that are committing genocide, the Zionist crazy, crazy fucks, right? Like crazy. Have you seen some of the footage of what they're doing? I wrote, I, I'm going to read this again, gang. Like, seriously, like, what the fuck? I'm going to read this for you guys, gang. This is an article I wrote in... Like horrendous, horrendous, right? This is what I wrote. I saw where the world was going in this a, a long time ago, right? Because I was writing articles, politics, economics articles. In the mid-2000s, I started writing these, right? So here's the article I'm about to read from, right? And this is sort of taking articles that I wrote uh, from the mid 2000s putting it all together compiling it getting some recent information coming around and i called this article i posted this article in 2014 okay and it's called and i've read this before i'm going to read it again right synopsis of our present predicament what the future holds a final word and i wrote this article because i wanted this to be the last strictly geopolitical article that i was ever going to write because I'm not interested in politics more than being able to just have a little justice in the world, uh, have, have less killing, less murder, less annihilation. I think the best thing that could happen with society, with the world, is we have open trade across the globe where anyone, individuals, can trade between each other and reduce government by 90%, right? That's my opinion, right? But this is what I wrote. If you scroll all the way down, I'm gonna read you, uh, I'll read you just before I post it because there's a little YouTube video I posted to George Carlin, stupid people. So I'm gonna read you just a little bit from the top of that and then all the way to the bottom, which is like three, four paragraphs, right? So this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna read, okay? Uh, quote, when I think of all this and more, the only fathomable excuse that comes to mind as to why we have forfeited so much, the only words that bring me comfort regarding a collective insanity come from George Carlin pointing out that the cause of our ills is because half of humanity is dumber than the average person. And then quoting George Carlin, think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that, end quote, George Carlin, right? And then I continue with my article, quote, why George Carlin's words bring me comfort is because they imply that the problem has a solution, education, hence my work on mathematics, the alternative that we are aware of our history and are indifferent to it is unthinkable. Since I have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come, and since I have said what needed to be said, or as Aaron Dari Roy would say, quote, I feel that I don't have anything direct to say without repeating myself, end quote, will consider this post to be the introduction to politics on Chicho, and it will be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on this site for quite some time, at least until Russia, China, Iran, or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is duped into directly confronting NATO, or until the next major false flag operation sends the world into a frenzy. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to send me a message or post comments. You can find additional information in the politics and economics sections of the table of contents. Some of the more popular posts can be found in the right-hand column of this site. Peace, Chicho.
right? Now, I wrote this in 2014. I might, I, I edited uh, the second last paragraph a couple of times, just added some more markers in there, some more links, just to make it understood that I was fucking serious about this shit and we're going into World War III and it's going to be nuclear, right? You could see that coming in the mid-2000s, right? And in 2012, 2014, I decided I don't want to write it. I don't want to document it. I don't want to, I don't want to witness the symphony of carnage, right? I'm going to make ASMR videos and eating videos and cooking videos and comic book videos, right? And that's exactly what I did, right? Unfortunately, since that time, our education systems have completely collapsed. And people in Canada, I can attest with you, 100%. People in Canada are dumber now than they were in the mid-2000s when I started writing geopolitical articles. And they're way fucking dumber than they were in the early 2010s. Dumbest motherfuckers you ever saw in here. Not everyone. There are some that are wise. But the majority are so dumb that they did what they did in the last three, four years. Right? So the reason why I started doing politics stuff and stuff like this, because we're at a point right now where we're talking nuclear world war because a bunch of psychopaths thinks it's a good idea but why because some of them are religious some of them are fanatics but mainly because all wars are bankers wars and the banking system in the western world is collapsing fucking hard 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 why because these dumb motherfuckers thought it was a good idea to wage war on russia right how stupid must you be to wage war on russia that's where we are. That's the summary of it.